Your Excellency uh, Nguyen Tất Thanh. Excellency, distinguished participants, ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, first, let me apologize uh, for some of the renovation work around our faculty of political science. If it has caused you any inconvenience, we are currently uh, in recess for uh, four more weeks, and it is important to do uh, before uh, the coming of uh, the new term that a student will uh, arrive. Let me now extend my warm welcome to today's workshop on enhancing Vietnam-Thailand relations for common possibility, sustainable development, and regional security. Uh, this is the first ever bilateral think tank forum between ISIS Thailand and the Institute of Southeast Asia Studies of Vietnam Academy of Social Science. Last year, we had a similar forum between ISIS Thailand and Myanmar ISIS. And so I am pleased that today we are doing some with Vietnam Institute for Southeast Asian Studies. In the near future, we intend to hold a similar forum with a Cambodia think tank. These bilateral think tank forums are important because they provide a platform for policy relevant discussion of current events and forward looking issues without being too formal or official and yet allowing frank and constructive exchanges of views with uh, practical implications. As we know, both Vietnam and Thailand have come a long way from different directions. For decades during the Cold War, we were at opposite ends. Under major power sponsorship, it was a tough time for both of our countries, but we both got through it in our own way. After the Cold War, Vietnam opened up and joined ASEAN in 1995. Thailand was a key supporter of Vietnam's membership in ASEAN. Since then, Thai-Vietnamese relations have improved steadily. Beyond ASEAN, <coughs> Thailand and Vietnam are also in the greater Mekong uh, sub-region. The two countries are now connected by highways with more cooperation and collaboration in education, infrastructure, tourism, and other areas. In addition to bilateral relations that are moving from strength to strength, Thailand and Vietnam are also two major ASEAN partners that can make a difference on the regional con uh, canvas. In fact, with the challenges facing ASEAN this day, with today's decision from The Hague on the South China Sea, uh, for example, Thailand and Vietnam need to step, to step up and leverage their partnership for regional peace and stability in ASEAN context. We will hear much more about this, all these issues uh, shortly. Uh, for now, let me thank first and foremost uh, ISIS Thailand's senior fellow Khun Kavi Jongkit Thawon for his instrumental role in organizing this uh, forum. And thanks to Dr. Bo Chuan Win and Professor Nguyen Dui Tang for working with us. In addition, we also thank Khun Thalabodi Adichai Wat, Dr. Nguyen Kok Lan, Ajahn Bong Khuan, and uh, Dr. Le Phuong Hoa uh, for making the time to be with, uh, with us uh, to share their expertise. I think uh, we are now have a really informative public forum on Thai-Vietnamese relations uh, in a region, regional context. 
uh, let me turn the floor over to Ajahn uh, Titinan and uh, thank you for all of you. Uh, Professor Ek Tangsu Patana, Faculty of Political Science, Chualongkorn University. Professor Titinan Pongsut Dirac, Director of Thailand. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me express my thanks uh, to Kun Titinan for inviting me to the first international conference on the relationship between our two countries. This event is very uh, timely as we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations and at the same time embarking on a new era of in-hand strategic partnership. Vietnam and Thailand are natural partners. As the only country in the region bordering Indochina, Thailand served as our gateway to the world, both during colonial periods and uh, during the many wars in Vietnam. When the Democratic Republic of Vietnam was founded in 1945, Bangkok was chosen as the place for our first diplomatic representative office. Though Thailand was one of the last ASEAN countries to establish diplomatic relations with Vietnam, but thanks to our leader's vision, we became the, the first ASEAN members to establish the strategic partnership. I believe as our people see each other as respectful, trustworthy friends and good business partners, our prime ministers agreed last year on three cardinal principles governing the bilateral relationship, namely mutual respect, mutual trust, and mutual benefit. This is the solid foundation for our relations in the new era of common prosperity, sustainable development, and regional security. Looking forward, we have many opportunities to further enhance our comprehensive relations while waiting for our distinguished speakers to share with us their invaluable ideas, I want to focus on six points that I think are more relevant to our topic today. First, geographically, we are very close to each other. The distance from Nakhon Phandong province to Ha Tinh province to Laos, how do you think, is about 270 kilometers. From Tra to Ha Tien via Cambodia is farther but not more than double that distance. The right bus links will be opened by the end of the year. Better still, 10 airlines are flying between our two countries with 219 return flights every week. That is more than 30 flights every day. One year ago, this was unimaginable. Second, we are in the same continental Southeast Asia. The Thai government prefers to call it the, 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 this subregion uh, CNMVT or ECMEX. Some people map it as Upper ASEAN. Whatever the name, we share the Mekong River. All the five governments take it as the area of their immediate security. How we develop economically we depend very much on it. Real, realizing this, new channels of cooperation, such as connectivity, labor, joint government, business forum, etc., are opening up. And this, of course, is on top of our joint endeavors in the ASEAN community, to which both our governments attach the greatest uh, priority. Third, bilaterally, we have agreed on a whole range of areas for cooperation. The action plan to implement the strategic partnership until the year 2018 covers 21 mutually beneficial fields, from political security to trade and investment, from R&D to education and environment, etc., at both central and provincial levels. Fourth, since the launch of our strategic partnership three years ago, we have set up appropriate mechanisms to discuss intimately as well as openly about everything and at any time that we find necessary. In addition to the joint cabinet retreat 
and the JCBC, Joy Commission on Bilateral Cooperation. We now have the foreign ministers' retreat, the consular uh, consultations, the political and security dialogues, the labor ministerials, to name just a few. Fifth, Vietnam is the only country in the world which has concluded free trade agreements with all the members of the Security Council. When the FTA is coming to effect, more than 95% of our exports will enjoy preferential treatment almost anywhere in the world. Accordingly, many foreign investors, big and small, have adopted new strategies to take advantage of this. Last but not least, the Vietnamese community in Thailand is very strong and committed. They constitute a bridge of friendship that connects our entrepreneurs, our provinces, and our people. Ladies and gentlemen, these opportunities are accompanied by challenges. Thailand is Vietnam's largest trade partner in ASEAN, but the annual bilateral uh, imbalance amounts to over 5 billion US dollars. Last year, 750,000 Vietnamese tourists visited Thailand, but only 140,000 went to Vietnam. Last week, fire was somehow open on Vietnamese fishermen. Today, the Permanent Court of Arbitration is coming up with its ruling on the Philippines case, and ASEAN response remains to be seen. We are working hard to fix these problems. I believe that given the vision and principles that our leaders have agreed upon, the dynamism and responsibility of our business people and the partnership and friendship that we enjoy in the region. We can do it. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish our conference a great success. Thank you.